I want to tell you about this broadcast as is a special one that you may like. Hello, my Ravens, Zach right here, and welcome to another video of Lost Dog Broadcast. Before I get into the topic of this broadcast, I want you to know, know and do so. I'm going to take a break of this series just for now. Uh, I'm running out of ideas to do for this series for broadcast. As I do like the, I actually do like the game of playing Raw Salt, Raw Fun, learning how to fabricate the story and the story and the combat system of the Soul Eater class. So yeah, I still have a bit, but, but new games are coming uh, soon to the channel. Oh, and I want to put them, I want to put them in a couple of them to, to my channel. Oh, and those, I want, I was thinking of bringing back the other full, full, and a new game coming out in March, which is actually Dragon Dogma 2. Two. I don't have the main deal. Yeah, but, but it turned out as a, it was actually a bad idea to do it. It's a lot of work and grinding thing after all. And I'm pretty sure I'll have more fun with those two games. Games for time being. Yeah. Yeah, so this series will come back in May. A, if I had a certified schedule for it, it because I'm gonna stop the Final Fantasy uh, Reaper series. Series in May, May and to be able to, it's like a mix up of uh, my schedule in May, so I'll, be, I'll make sure, to, sure this, this series will come. Come through the time being. Anyway, let's get to the topic for today's broadcast. This week, for this week, is dancing. Dancing is is actually a move, a movement way how to control yourself or your body. There's different kind of dance moves to be so. Oh, and those are break dancing, tap dancing, hip hop, hop, and country mm -hmm. dancing. Okay. Back then, and when I was in elementary school, I did sway dancing. Now, that's actually the same thing as country dancing. But square dancing is the, it's like actually the only way of the rhythm uh, with your partner. Yeah. Now, it was uh, a partner of a girl and a boy, so my partner was actually a girl, and it was kind of weird dancing, being square dancing uh, with my partner. Uh, for the time being. Now this was actually during gym period in, in amateur school. So I'm quite um, I'm quite old. I'm turning 30 years old this May. Okay. And when I did that cycle of square dancing I learned quite not a lot, maybe like learn much to it. Yeah. Anyway, maybe let's get back to the motions of other dance moves. Okay. Let me tell you why what you you don't know. Back then in elementary school school 
starting in fifth grade, I was a dancer. I started to dance uh, on my own for a long time. I still do actually. Okay. And in the beginning, I was not that good. But as I developed and practiced a lot, I got more concerned to what, to what kind of dance I am into. Two. When middle school uh, happened, and I did uh, break dancing for for the three years of middle school, this is actually mainly in in the school dances, and I learned a lot uh, on my own. Basically, just watch some some videos, some YouTube videos, how to do break dancing. Dancing and I gotta say, I achieve a lot too. Now, I did show other moves in in high school and achieve and achieve even better. Yeah. Yeah. Outside of those schools, I did show my talent. So yeah, and also, and then right now I'm learning how to do hip hop and tap dancing. So I'm like a multi cast person that that can actually dance, not not the best, but um, tough enough to to keep the rhythm. Of, of my body, like myself, be so. Oh, I, I never done, done like duo, uh, duo, dancing or, or trio, or try, oh dancing, there was one, with me, but. It's um quite interesting to be so. Oh, uh, and it's, it's actually a lot of fun when when you do dancing. So yeah. All right. So let's go over them. Meh, seems like I talked for thirty minutes. Minutes. Yeah. All right. First up, break dancing. Break dancing is a Motion of moving fast, fast but not too fast. Keep your pace right, right. And the main idea of those are the spins and the flips. Now I can't flip, flip, but I can actually spin. Now there's a dance move called the the three spins. And Mainly you just go, you spin in a circle with your hands, then you do that with, with your butt, and finally we do a spin with your head. I can only do two. Two. I can't do the spin head. That's hard. Hard. Because you have to go, because first of all, you need to do a, you need to do a headset. Handstand, handstand, and then head on floor, and you and then you spin. And, and I can't do a handstand. Yeah. But there's different kind of other uh, moves I can do of uh, break dancing. Thing, such as the hurricane. The can't do the cyclone. That's actually pretty hard. Hard. The, can't do the tornado. That's a little hard to do. But the hurricane and the, and the tornado are, are a bit similar, but, but they are different. And, and these are. 
uh, and and I could do the spin motion on the pole. Oh, that's actually I forgot the name of that, but it's quite visual to do for me. Okay. And then there are the many more the time being and those are and those are the flips that I know. The flips are you can do can you do one flip or or a back flip. Flip you have to do a front flip and a back flip. Yeah. And if you get enough air, yeah, like enough big air, you can get uh, two back flips or two front flips. Flips. <laughs> okay. Somehow, somehow I wish this was a thing. Thing. So, you know. There are different kinds of dance moves in these cells. What if you can do a combo of dance moves? Move. Think about it. Big L, two spin, two pop, two a handstand, but it's probably a handstand. Then flip up, up, twist your legs to a spin. And then flip back, and then flip to land it off. Oh, I'm not sure how <laughs> sure how that works, but that's quite hard actually. That's that's really hard uh, dance combo. But I wish that was actually a thing. Thing you can flip up. The air, air, and then do a twist spin, and then flip to land off. It was quick. Yeah. Um. Just giving you everything way of it. Yeah. And it's, it is hard for me to do so. I I can't even do it. So sorry. All right. Moving on to the next one. No. Hip hop. Oh, this is one of the learning thing. Now why am now where I'm from learning this is a game called Just Dance. In Just Dance uh series of games, they they teach you the way how to do hip hop the moves. To dance to do slow slow dancing and and uh, and and other dance lines too. Too. Yes. Mainly but it's mainly hip hop. It, what it is is actually keeping away a motion of your hips and the hop is your is your feet moving. Or is your hands. One of those two. Do okay, and as both yeah as both of them actually quite hard to do. Other ones are are different. And there are times you have to. There are times that these dance, these moves are yeah, these dance moves are actually quite hard. To do, to do in these cells. Like you have to do them quick or slow. Oh, like no, like no more speed. Yeah. If you time them right, right, then you can uh, cycle them and of it. Basically, you just do. Basically, you choose a song that you like the most, most, and then try to copy the motions 
of of the dance moves from that song on. Um, if from the from the just dance games, they're almost they're almost similar to the YouTube videos of it. If you analyze Blackpink songs, songs, uh, watch the just dance dance moves, and then watch the video videos dance moves from Blackpink. Pink, you can realize I they are similar or or a bit different, and those are actually the hardest one to to dance professionally to to them. And there are, there are actually some easy ones too, so, but you have to keep the motion of them throughout the way. Okay, and. The more practice you do, like the, the more times you repeat the the song and and do the de- the dance moves over and over again, the, the more way you know how how to how to do hip hop dancing. So yeah, all right, moving on. To the next one, and the tap dancing. This is one that I'm learning the most. Most, even though I do know it because I did play the drums before. Tap dancing is like it's like a tap rhythm way from your feet. Feet. It's like the kicking the rhythm of your of playing drums. Drums. Uh, now it does. It could matter that you that you want the right shoes to wear to to have a to have a loud tap or a low tap tap and and people are saying it's Saying if you tap too loud, then you you understand your rhythm. Um, but is that the right thing to to do when you're tap dancing? Thing it's also annoying. It's also a annoying too because it's all that. Tapping and tapping, and and the fact is actually very loud. This, this, and then the fact uh, you don't know how to tap because it's the same rhythm of playing the drums. Um. Now, I've been in a couple of dance recitals. Uh, my little sister done done it before. She she did ballet, a uh, when she yeah, when she was little. So and then in those dance recitals, recitals I coordinate the tap dancing uh, from them. They were quite good in doing so, but the shoes, the shoes of the tap is loud. This, they're keeping the rhythm fast and pace, pace, and there was a few mess up, up, but they did get back right uh, up. To make it better, so, and and that's the and it could be the bad part, because you want to 
you want to keep the width of, of your feet. Well, I'm, I'm tapping. Okay. Like also your body. Okay. Because if you if you if you tap too fast, then you're losing your balance. Balance from your hip and the and the so. So yeah. But that's the way I have tap that's the way how uh, these dancing moves actually work out. Break dancing, hip hop and tap dancing. Okay. Alright. Let's do let me talk about the other ones. Slow dancing. Okay. Alright, so what slow dancing is like a way of I say it's like tango, but yeah, it's like tango and uh, salsa. We're familiar to that. Those two, two are with a partner. Yeah, two people dancing in like the keep the motion of your feet and your body plus your arms and where the hands should go oh because remember you're not alone you'll be with someone else your partner yeah and the main priority is actually your your feet feet because you have to you don't have to watch your feet. Feet is more like you have to watch the posture. So, uh, you're welcome to watch them, but do, do that and practice. Practice. Uh, if you're performing it, watch the crowd. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the way of of dancing too, with with another person. Okay. Yeah. And then there's other dance moves. Move two, which is actually like group dancing thing. Now those dancing are like uh freestyle wherever you want, wherever you want to go to go through, wherever you, wherever is your best. Yes. And freestyle is actually uh the hardest one ever. Ever because if you make one mistake, uh it's quite over for you. For you. So Make sure you know how to dance in a freestyle way, and not and, make, and not make any mistakes from it. Yeah. Another way of dancing is is some people think this is actually kind of cool. Some people think it's not, and that is the robot dance. Yeah, robot dancing, like have to dance like robot, beating it, the hand motions, motions, and your feet motions, motions too, too. But you also have to uh, stop and then do it again. It's like moving like a robot, uh, uh, and it's a little, it's a, it's a little hard, but not. Too hard, say like a like medium way of doing the work I dance. Dance. It's like the way how to control your mind. And then, and then keep the weight of motion. Then believe you're, if you do the dance, believe you're in a box. Box and just stop in the motion of of your dance moves. 
Okay, keep your head, your your hands and your feet moving in time of a clock. I don't know. I give the tip back. All right. I think that's actually pretty much it I have to say about dancing. Okay, so yeah. Alright, let me tell you what's next for the broadcast. Um, that's going to happen in May. Hey, the next one is to climb. So it's like uh, we want to trust this actually in these cells. So. Oh. Uh, before I sign off, let me tell you about one more dancing uh, move or style. Oh, and that is ballet. So, not many men do ballet, but a lot of girls do, like a lot of women do ballet. Hey, now those are really hard to do. Is you gotta keep your feet up, up to spins but not fast slow oh and and have a good jump posture to yourself oh and especially with those splits i don't know how that works but those are hard yeah because you the thing is if you can do a split good but can you get back up up <laughs> Oh my, that's hard, okay? Okay, uh, especially jumping high. High because one of the techniques of ballet is the swan dance. And that is very popular, like very common for ballets, that swan dance. And that, and mainly is like jumping high, I, um, Going far, far, far in, in in one jump, and keeping a a loop from from the air. So yeah, that's the way how that ballet gets in it. Is. And my and my little sister did do actually do that, and um she couldn't do the swan dance, but she was a pretty good ballet. Arena at all, but and she did have good posture uh, in her own way. Okay. She didn't go all the way through through for her, for her ballet. Okay. I think she quit when high school arrived for her. her and I wish she went further because it'd be nice if I saw her. Uh, do her solo perform uh, with Irina, but that did not happen. And all of them was just group dancing for her. And uh, I gotta say that history is pretty much it. Okay, so there you have it. In the cell. this series will come back in May. I figured out a schedule for it. Next one is Blue Climb, which is going to adjust it, release, and lava push off it, the forcement. I got to do some research on that. I know nothing about law. Or climb. But it actually too much hit. And do so. But thank you so much for watching. And. and uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for having me on my streaming account. And I'll see you in May for the next episode of Broadcast The Lost Ark. Farewell and goodbye.